The Beaverton Portraits of Canadiosity, Margaret Wente. Margaret Wente is one of the leading voices in the booming world of Canadian print journalism. Born in Evanston, Illinois, Wente moved to Canada in the 1950s after she cheated on her immigration test. After graduating from the University of Toronto with an MA in English, Margaret landed a job at the Globe and Mail. It's here that Wente's pessimistic views on feminism were cemented as she was forced to share a cubicle space with Christy Blatchford and Barbara Kay. Through the decades, Wente played the brooding sting to Blatchford's Andy Summers and Kay's The Other Guy, churning out hit piece after hit piece denouncing progressive causes. The trio gained notoriety by focusing on how women are destroying Canadian values by politely asking not to be assaulted while they are unconscious. When Wente went solo, she became best known for her fight against the liberal notion of copyright. You can read more about it and her other struggles in her best-selling memoir, Frank McCourt's Angela's Ashes by Margaret Wente. Regardless for controversies, Wente is a figure in the Canadian media landscape that we could never do without. Assuming Christy Blatchford and Barbara Kay didn't exist, which they do. This has been a Beaverton Portrait of Canadiosity. Uh -huh.